Judo is not a monkey. Ah, it's... Oh, shit. <laughs> it's 12 past the night. So I should probably keep this video brief since I gotta be up in about under six hours for work. Um, uh, this is vlog number three, I think. Yeah. Um, so, in case you didn't notice, shaved my head. Not completely bald, surprisingly. I thought that you were gonna shake everything off, but my hair is completely freaking short. Yeah, I did it for St. Baldrick's. It's a fundraiser for, um, kids with cancer. I'm trying not to talk too loudly, but hopefully you can hear me. Because, you know, I'm the only one that's awake. Maybe Daniel might be watching this German show, so. Who knows? Um. I don't know, I've just. I've had so much on my mind lately. Well, especially since I came back after visiting Portland in the summer. Um, you know, for anyone who's watching this, and if you know me, well, I've changed. When I come back to Portland, you're gonna see a different James through the mask or yeah. James. I'm not seeing my last name if I haven't already, but yeah. You're gonna see a different side of me. Um I don't know. I've realized a lot of things about myself since I've been here and things that I think I've improved on. I never realized, I mean, I know it's OCD, but damn, I never realized just how much. I mean, to be fair, my job kind of requires it, but even outside of the habitat, you're old. But, um, been really distant from my friends back in Portland that I've hardly spoken to any of them since I've been back. I'm just trying to keep my head here. And I don't know, I wanna want to be in the way of their their stuff. so much in the past fucking, I don't know, eight, nine months. Pardon my French. And um it's it's just been it's been incredible, honestly. Um and it's been difficult, but I think this is the experience that I really needed to have because I just I was not ready for college. Just like I wasn't ready for a serious relationship. And now I feel like I'm ready for both. I mean, yeah. I know, I'm young. So, I have plenty of time. But, you know, I've been single since July. And I don't know. I feel like I'm ready. I don't know who, I don't know when, but... When I find, you know, that special someone, I'm ready. I'm more ready than I ever was, and especially college. Like, I don't know, I was, I was so stressed out my senior year that I just, I did not want to handle going to college, and 
now, now that I've, you know, been living in the real world, working in the real world, and, you know, like, I'll be a couple of steps ahead of freshmen when I go to college, because, maybe not academically, but I've learned things that, you know, you can't really be taught in college, you know, life lessons and stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've really grown in my faith and I've grown as a person and I've become more aware of things that I can work on. And, um, you know, the first step in solving a problem is recognizing there is one. Jeff Daniels, loser. Still need to watch that show. I've only seen opening scene. Damn, that was incredible. And I don't even know much about politics. But damn. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure completely sure what I'm going to do when I go back to Portland because, you know, I, I really like it here and living here has been good for me and, uh, you know, there's just certain people that I'm not sure if I want to see or how am I going to approach them. There are other people like I haven't seen since I left in August. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be glad to see some of them, but I don't know. I j with all my friends, but certain friends in particular, I just I want them to recognize that. I'm not the same person that I was eight, nine months ago. I'm not the same person I was in August. And I want them to know that. And I'm not going to make the same mistakes I made when I was 18. You might laugh, because, you know, that was just months ago. A year ago, but a lot can change, a lot can happen. So, yeah. And I hope for all of you in Portland, you are doing wonderfully, and you are just doing awesome. Because you are all awesome. And to those of you who uh, might hate me or still hate me, I'm mostly referring to exes, which I don't think I ever completely apologize for the last time we talked, which I'm incredibly sorry about. Um, I mean, I know. I was a hypocrite before, and I was manipulative, I was, I was a jackass, I was a jerk, and I don't deserve forgiveness. And I know I said I'm sorry before, and yet I explode again, but I want you to know that I am making an effort to become a better person. And even if that means you never speak to me again. I just want you to know that I am trying. And I'm trying to make a difference, not only in my life, but maybe in someone else's. That's part of the reason why I like working for Habitat, because I'm building houses for other people. And just the happiness you see in their eyes. Because some of these people, they've never had a house before, and it's just an amazing feeling. Well, um, it's 12.22, and, uh, 
and uh, I gotta wake up at like 6.10 to get ready for work, so have my coffee and watch my Buffy. Oh yeah. So, uh, this has been Judo is not a monkey. Coming to you live from North Carolina. That's my really terrible southern accent. Indeed. Okay then. Good night. And good luck.